Hello and welcome. I'm Chris Ryan and this is All Access Sports, your source for local sports. And I'm Bree Harvey. Let's get things started with some good old fashioned pigskin. Very nice. The Michigan State football team padded up this week for their preseason camp. Let's see how it went. We got a pretty good first week. I thought a lot of things happened the first week that sort of, you know, is a starting point for us basically. Uh, so a lot of it was about installation and things of that nature. And then this week is really about uh, adjusting what we do to all the things that we're going to see offensively and defensively and uh, start moving in that direction. And then next week will be a little bit more about our first game and uh, those type of things. But uh, good start. Uh, a lot of people making progress, a lot of retention. Um, we've been at pretty active out here. So we've played the game. One guy who is off to a great start is fifth-year senior Tyler O'Connor, who is vying for the starting quarterback spot. I went really bad. I mean, I, I look back to when Coach D came to my house and sat in my basement and, and asked myself and asked my parents, you know, are, are we ready for this, everything that's going to come with it. And, you know, I've been waiting long enough for it. And I told him from the beginning that, you know, I want all this pressure. I want everything. I'll take all the blame or whatever. It, it's, just, I just, it's the role that I, I feel like I was born to be in. Um, I'm very willing to take everything whatever good or bad and it's just I think it's my time. We've got our guys we've got a deep football team that's what I will say you know there's not a lot of difference between the ones and the threes in some in some areas you know because we're a little bit inexperienced in certain positions but we have players back but at the same time you know when you look at our freshman class they just need reps for example I mean there's talented players there we're pretty healthy right now so for all things um, all things being summer camp and what you're trying to do in summer camp is pretty healthy. Got some guys nicked up, but nothing that's going to cause create issues. But I don't talk about injuries. For the media, there will be no offensive. Well, we all know how much Coach D loves talking about injuries. But good to hear that the Spartans are healthy and ready for the season. They take on Furman Friday, September 2nd at 7 p.m. in their home season opener. Can't wait for that. I know. It's going to be a good one. And the Spartans got a break from their preseason camp on Tuesday night for the 14th annual Meet the Spartans event, as thousands of Michigan State football fans flooded the concourse at Spartan Stadium. The entire 2016 team was present, along with head coach Mark D'Antonio, to sign autographs, take pictures, and preview the season. Home TV's Maya Sanchez and I have the story. Well, one thing is for sure. There are no better fans than you, Spartan Nation. And again, just a month away. Can't wait for the season to start. All that talk about Michigan. I want to see what Michigan State brings to the table this year. Oh, yeah. They're still the defending Big Ten champions, so very exciting there. Now, the Lugnuts. In a heated playoff race, the Lansing Lugnuts welcomed an in-state rival, the Great Lakes Loons, this week. It's Monday night, and the usually reliable lefty and helper Domo not feeling all right. With the bases loaded in the second, number nine hitter Sage Janko loops one to right center. The Loons' Logan Landon grateful to be sent home, and then a pass ball from Perdomo allows second baseman Zach McKinstry to trot to the house. And Perdomo continues with the control problems, walking leadoff hitter Darian Tubbs. First baseman Luke Rayleigh would cap a four-run inning with this sack fly. On the other side, the Loons had Imani Abdullah dealing, keeping any hopes at a Lugnuts rally in check. Abdullah would go five deep, giving up only two hits and one run. He would eventually come away with his third win on the year as Great Lakes would take a 7-1 victory over the Lightnuts. And the Lightnuts stay at home all week, finishing off a four-game series with the Loons on Thursday and taking on South Bend over the weekend as the regular season nearly draws to a close. Almost over already. Felt like it just started. <laughs> It just started. It feels like baseball season is year-round. I know. Well, only it goes through August for the Lugnuts. Majors keeps going, but it's a great season. Had a great time. Lugnuts had a pretty good year this year. They're in day. playoff contention. We'll see how they finish out. And coming up next, our very own put on the pads with Michigan State women's hockey when we come back to All Access Sports. Don't worry, 74 people were picked before me in the NFL draft. To fight childhood obesity, United Way and the NFL are helping kids play at least 60 minutes a day. Okay, time for the team obstacle course. Yay! What this place needs is more healthy kids. To get involved or donate, go to unitedway.org slash play60. 
Now I get it. You may know about what's happened worldwide, but you might not know what's happening in your community. Connect with Home TV on multiple social media platforms. Go to HomeTV.net to view our 24-hour live stream. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter to receive the first-hand news updates. Home TV, Flickr, and Instagram provides high-quality photos while also showing what we do behind the scenes. Just connect with us. Hazlitt, Okemos, Meridian Township, Home TV. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? And you know you do. That's why we're here. We're free and here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Picking a college, man. You and us we go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Go to GetSchooled.com. Welcome back. Ever wonder what it's like to be a Michigan State hockey player? Every day, yeah. <laughs> I would love to do that. Well, Home TV's Maya Sanchez and I got an on-the-ice look at this year's women's hockey clinic. We laced up, hit the ice, and chucked some pucks. Let's take a look. The game's played at such a pace that you have to go in short bursts. <laughs> What are we? What are we shooting at? No way. Rewinding it to the beginning, Coach Anastas cut our sticks to fit our heights. Then we went on a tour of the arena, from how and where they train to what goes on when they aren't working out. We got an idea of what it's like to be a Spartan hockey player. And so our guys will come in. They'll come in and sit here and that after every practice, after a game. Chili. And. How many were surprised by the gear? Gained 20 pounds, lost it in and out. That's pretty good. I can skate. I can skate. Yeah, I'm doing it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Anybody have any questions on that? <laughs> I'm like scared to stand up. <laughs> oh, you'll be fine. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's slippery. guess on the possession of the puck if you have it a lot in the game how long that might be if you had it even a minute and a half that's a lot <laughs> think about how important it is to play well when you don't have the puck to be engaged when you don't have the puck because that's the majority of the time In, in the sport, generally, we're trying to figure a way to expand scoring, create more scoring chances, because it's, it's something that fans cheer about. None of our coaching staff can work with the players by NCAA rules. We can't do anything with them, yet we're accountable for them. 
I was elated with how our guys presented themselves today. That was the first time we've seen it. Like Coach said to everyone at the clinic, there wasn't a lot of talent, but there was a lot of courage. So we'll keep practicing. In East Lansing, Maya Sanchez and Bree Harvey, Home TV. Well, hockey is way harder than it looks, folks. But I didn't fall and I scored two goals. That's impressive. I'm so, actually shocked by that. So I'd say that's an overall success. Yeah. You ever think Coach Nassos would let me sub in sometime? No. But good job, nevertheless. Coming up after the break, we're talking Michigan State women's basketball. They went to Europe and high school football coming up on the way after the break when we come back to All Access Sports. You think getting dumped by text is harsh? Try getting dumped by tennis ball. My ex owner drove me out to the woods yelled fetch and by the time i bought the ball back he was gone yeah i was pissed but the folks at the shelter helped me let go of my anger i learned coping skills like taking it to the hole boom now i'm ready to fetch again but how about i throw and you run and get it There's just one place where students are students first, and athletics are played with purpose and perspective. That place is your local high school. High school sports offer more than the joy of competition. Studies show that student athletes are also likely to enjoy greater levels of achievement in other areas of their lives, including academics. High school sports, a winning part of a complete education. Welcome back once again. The Michigan State women's basketball team is packing their bags for a 10-day European excursion. Very nice. The Spartans will travel to Europe from August 19th through the 28th, spending time in Rome, Paris, and London. They will play in an exhibition game in each country while taking side trips to Normandy, France in Oxford, England. With overseas trips becoming a staple in MSU athletics, Junior guard Tori Jankowska is just grateful to be a part of one. Well, Michigan State puts us on a platform that a lot of other women's basketball teams don't get. And uh, I feel extremely lucky to play here. It was one of the reasons I want to play here, because they, they put women's basketball up there right underneath men's basketball and football. So I think it's good for uh, both basketball-wise and for like camaraderie. We come together as a team. We spend a lot of time together. And uh, we learn each other learn about each other both on and off the court. And this bonding time will be good for team chemistry as Michigan State welcomes five newcomers to this year's squad. The Spartans finished last season with a 25-9 record, advancing to the second round of the NCAA tournament. And I want to go on that trip. Coach, how do I get a ticket to go to Europe with the team? I would love to experience that with the team. I could play some basketball too. It would be a great time. Hey, I worked for the team for four years and I didn't get a ticket. Well, Maybe. Come on, Coach. I'm asking. All Come on, Coach Merchant. Here. Oh, all right. And well, while switching over to the high school level, their football season officially starts next Thursday, August 25th. Here's a look at the season openers for our local teams. Very exciting. Just coming up right around the corner. Be there. We'll try to make it to all those, but you have to do a lot of traveling to get to all of those games. Oh, yeah. And you know what? This is Bree Harvey's last show. Great time. It was short-lived here. It was. As my co-host, but you're here. Now you're going on to better things, I hear. Oh, Louisiana. Yeah. Yep. Very exciting time. Always a pleasure with Chris. It was a great ride. Roller coaster, in fact. I'm sure you guys love him coming into your living rooms. And Bree, but now <laughs> you will have to forget about that love because she will be gone. And if you harp on the past, then uh, you're going to be miserable. So 
It's We're all gonna right. have to all move on. Me also, Molly well. O'Keefe, you know, she left last week, our director. A lot of things changing over here at All Access Sports. Change can be good, but change can also be sad. And, you know, we're all, we're all sad for these losses. But, but that's all for this edition of All Access Sports. I'm Chris Ryan. And I'm Bree Harvey. Don't forget to follow us online at hometv.net, Facebook, and Twitter. Well, I won't be seeing you next time, but Chris will. I will. So see you next time, Meridian, and have a good one.